Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. I've been getting a lot of questions lately about if I soak my nuts and seeds and if so, how do I do it? So I'm going to take this opportunity today to take you through my whole process of soaking nuts and seeds to improve the digestibility, to enhance the nutrition profile, um, because a lot of people have digestibility issues with them. They feel they get bloated and they just don't digest right. So I'm gonna show you what I do to help reduce the potential for that happening. And so when we soak them, we help to remove the phytic acid and other enzyme inhibitors and it allows our bodies to go to work breaking down the nuts and seeds and it allows us to extract those nutrients. It also just naturally helps to start breaking down the proteins into amino acids, the fats into fatty acids, and the starches into simple sugars. Um, that's more so when you start to get into sprouting, but even with soaking, you're gonna allow your body to just make it so much easier of a process. So today we're gonna be soaking walnuts, almonds, and sunflower seeds. Uh, I'm gonna take you down to the kitchen now and I'm gonna show you how the whole process works and show you how you can start soaking at your house. All right, we are in the kitchen and we've got our three bowls here set up. So all you need to start soaking your own nuts and seeds is your bowls, your nuts and seeds, and some clean water. All right, so here we've got our sunflower seeds, we've got our almonds, and we've got our walnuts. So again, we are going to soak these overnight, and that way we're gonna make sure that we're giving them enough time to soak and for that phytic acid and the enzyme inhibitors to sort of wash off. And it's also nice because some nuts and seeds tend to have mold and other, you know, dirt and things on them. So it's good to get that stuff off as well before you're consuming it. And so that is just another benefit of soaking your nuts and seeds. All right, so we've got the water into the bowls. Our nuts and seeds are starting to soak. But first, before I put them off to you know sit overnight, what I like to do is to massage the nuts and seeds to make sure I'm working off any of that extra debris and dirt and maybe mold. Um, so I just kind of massage it a few seconds. And you also want to make sure that you have enough water uh, in the bowl to account for the amount that the nuts and seeds are going to absorb because they will absorb some of the water and then they will start to um, you know, come out of the water. And so you wanna make sure you have enough water in each bowl so that it's gonna make sure that all the nuts and seeds are covered the entire time. So just keep working it. All right, so now we're gonna put these off to the side. You know, you can put them in a cupboard or you can just leave them out on your countertop, um, but they just need to soak for about, you know, these are gonna go for about 12 hours. And so I am going to set these to the side now and then I will come back and film tomorrow morning um, and show you what I do next. All right guys, it is morning time now and I just got out the nuts and seeds that we've been soaking overnight. And you can really see how dirty that water has gotten. Just confirmation that it is a good idea to soak nuts and seeds to help get all that stuff off of them. And also, I mean, look at how big these almonds have gotten. They've like doubled in size since last night. So, you know, the nuts and seeds are going to absorb a lot of water. And that's, again, why you wanna make sure you're filling your bowls with enough water to make up for what's gonna be absorbed. So, all right, we are going to throw, well, first we're gonna rinse them off. So we'll drain the water off, we'll rinse them, and then I'm going to put them on a dehydrator sheet to dry so that I can store them because we're using so much 
you know, nuts and seeds here that uh, I'm not going to use these right away. So it's good to dehydrate them if you want to store them. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that. So let's go uh, work on that. turn this on for 24 hours at 100 degrees and we will check back when that is over. All right, they are all packed away in their jars and you guys, you definitely need to try this. They taste so much better. They're less bitter because you've removed that phytic acid. They're crunchier and they're just fresher overall. So really love doing this. It helps to increase the absorption and just uh, the digestion of them. And it's just, uh, it's pretty easy. So highly recommend giving it a try. All right, what'd you guys think? Pretty simple, right? So if you are gonna start soaking your nuts and seeds, let me know in the comments down below. I wanna hear how it goes. And if you're somebody that uses nuts and seeds regularly, um, this is a very convenient way to do it. You know, um, do a big batch at one time, dehydrate them, and keep them in the fridge. And if you don't have a dehydrator, put them in the oven you know, at the lowest temperature and you can crack the door just to make sure you're not actually cooking them. You, know, you don't wanna rancidify those fats. Um, so keep it raw, but just make sure they get completely dry and you're all set. So you'll have nuts and seeds that have been soaked on hand for months and, and it's, it's awesome. So um, I hope you guys found this video helpful. Uh, if you have any questions at all or you need to get a hold of me, uh, check out the description box below. There's links that you can contact me and there's a bunch of other information down there as well. So check it out. And until next time guys, always remember to follow your raw intuition. Detoxify your mind and body Be the change you want to see Small steps towards living better Small steps to where I want to be